last but not least, Ophiuchus. Hi, Serpent Bearer. How you doing? How's your January looking? Let's check. How was your birthday? If you're one of my uh, 13 seekers, other zodiac sign other than Ophiuchus, but you're here for the um, 13th vibe of it, an extra reading for the month, that's for you too. My Ophiuchus serpent bearers are Ophiuchus, technically, but also and or Seeker 13. How fitting, Seeker 13 slash Ophi. And the Magician. It's exactly that. Having all the elements on the table, having gone through all the zodiac signs with essence or, and work or going to do so. What makes the Magician so skilled and powerful and capable is that he works or she works with everything that nature has given us earth, water, fire, air, body, emotion, will, thought, ether, aka spirit. There are four elements in this card, but there's a fifth element you. The one that harness all of them together and works with it, with them. The picture grander than its pieces. You, my friend, are coming into this reading as ether. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is quite a fun combination because it tells you you don't need to be rigorous and exhausted to gain results. You've reached a level, seemingly, where you've already done the work. You've already set the wheels in motion. You've already gone through the hard, gunky parts learning the crafts, practicing Renma, you know, the, uh, it's in Japanese for polishing, it's the wax on, wax off, repetition. You're already there, you already have the knowledge, you already have the muscle memory. You don't need to put as much effort anymore because it's already in the system. Now, you just need to send it to the air with your will. Very fitting to the fact that Saturn and Jupiter moved into Aquarius and we're, we're basically moving into a 200 year cycle of air. We were in a very long cycle of Earth, which was great and important and set the foundations for our manifestation that include action, work, and tangible behavior that aligns with the will, which is this Eight of Pentacles in the upright. But not to cancel the essence of Earth. That's not what I'm saying from now until forever. No, just for now. You've reached a level within your path, within your knowledge, within your goals, where you can start manifesting. Work smarter, not harder. But the Eight of Pentacles is still on the table, turning its back to the Magician and is in the reverse. Something about you find it hard to believe. You're still, you know, old habits are very hard to break. You're used to putting in effort and hard work and suddenly things just happen easier, quicker. Something must be wrong with it. There must be a catch. Usually you were right. Not this time. 
don't sabotage your own flow because you're used to stuckness. <laughs> That's the best word I could come up with. And if someone presents to you a possibility of having something happen for you, easier, better, and it's legitimate, and it's legal, and it's not at the expense of anyone, it's not hurtful, don't reject it with resistance because you can't believe it's true. What do you have to lose? Again, assuming that it's legal, legitimate, and isn't hurtful to someone else. You know what I mean, okay? If an opportunity comes in and it's good and it's great, allow it. And the spare time that you have available, take a bath. Sit on a bench, you know, stretch like a kitten in the sun. Soak some vitamin D. Tell yourself, I've set things in motion. I've done the work. Now I just need to allow it. You know, it's like you, you, you've, you've You've put on all the materials in the um, in the bowl, and are you just putting it putting it in the oven? And all you have to do is wait for it to be baked, to allow the universe to kind of manifest it. Any extra work that you will put into that right now will just come against you. The emperor. Perfect. Delegate. Delegate. The emperor doesn't do it all on himself or on herself. They know what they need to do and they know what to tell other people who are working with them or for them to do what they need to do. They stay on top of things. And they count the money. Ace of Pentacles. They've earned this position. Magician and Emperor earned their position. Luck had nothing to do with it. It now looks like luck to outside people. Oh, how did you do that? How did it happen to you? You're so lucky. Oh my God. How could. And you're like, luck? Luck takes hard work. And you've done the hard work. Just not now. Now, let it come in. I know I'm being redundant and repetitive, but you've got to let it come in. It's something that you've invested in, worked for, perfected. It wants to play out now. Allow it. You gotta be patient and hold on. The Hermit and Nine of Wands, but you're scared. You wanna do what I what I tell you to do. You want to take the advice because it feels damn good, the thought of it. But the Hermit and the Nine of Wands, it's an energy that is constantly on the edge waiting for something to crumble, waiting for something to go wrong, waiting to see a detail that was missed. It's okay trust what, you know, to trust but verify. It's okay to make sure that all the details are in place, but be cautious of paranoia um, and operating out of fear because good things are coming tangible things the emperor and the ace of pentacles that's very that's really um, that's amazing financial gains um material abundance but also an extremely strong sense of belonging in the world knowing your place what it is that you love doing what it is that is your role within that Some of it might be noted to you or notified to you. Hey, this is on the way or this might happen. And the only thing you're left with is to wait. And it could be very, very frustrating. I understand. But nonetheless, that's the guidance. It's, it's for you. It's to help you relax. It's to help you teach you that you can just allow things to come to you as you chill. Practice breathing. 
take long walks. There is a lot of wisdom on the table, the magician, the emperor, the hermit. These energies, they know what they're doing. They know reality inside out. They know it. They know their own heart. The hermit knows its own heart. The emperor knows its his, his or hers material realm. The schedule, the actions, the bank account, the contracts. the authority, the leadership, the responsibility, the magician, the magician knows both and then some. Very Renaissance man-like energy is coming up here, Renaissance man or Renaissance woman. Da Vinci, he was a painter, but he was also a sculptor and an anat anatomist. He was the father of anatomy, did you know that? And he was an inventor and he built different weaponaries. He was an architect. He was many, many, many things. And it was okay for him to be all these things because he did them well. Every single one of the pentacles here, in this Eight of Pentacles, is a skill, a craft that you've mastered. I'm tapping into some badass Ophiuchus out there that are very, very capable. You have different different types of skill, skill, skills, I'm sorry, and talents, but it's not on a beginner level. Like you've mastered a few things. Earned it, Ophiuchus. You really, really earned it. Show me more for January 2021. I feel like this is also an insinuation for the entirety of 2021 for for those of you who, who, who resonate with this. Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be placed in leadership positions where your knowledge and skill can come out and play. And benefit. The universe is going to use you. Oh, be sure about that. Just as you're using the universe, the universe is going to use you. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm saying it in like a cooperative, cooperative way. You've been granted. You've been granted gifts. Of you because you may have you may not have come to terms with that because it's been so exhausting you know to get to a point where they get where those gifts are played out in your life you know where you're born with all these talents and now you need to develop the skill by practicing the craft and learning and studying and training you've been so head in to the work it's like it's easy to forget right from all the trees you can't see the forest you were busy on like really investing in every single tree within the forest giving it your own if, and what do you know there's an entire amazon that you've created and so spirit and divinity take note okay this is energy the sofucus person we can work with them and this is not at your expense not anymore anyway you're too strong. You're too grounded. The emperor and the hermit here. You're 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 rooted within yourself and within your life. So the universe will work with you. Whatever it is that you will, wherever you will be placed to assist, um, it will also benefit you either directly or indirectly. Some of you are very, very versatile. Maybe you speak several languages or you um, like a shifter energy or you know how to adapt to different circumstances, different people. You know how to speak with different people eye level in a way that brings out the best of the situation.
justice card. The self versus society. There is some sort of balance that has been achieved on that scale um, after a lot of upheaval. Where do you put effort on the self? Where do you put um, effort on society? And it's like you've gained a really strong sense of grasp on both. You will be tested a little bit this month with this Wheel of Fortune and the, um, and the Justice card. I feel like it will be tested that for others it will be difficult, others will fail like that if they were to face a test like that, but for you it's going to be a smooth ride because you've already are so well versed in situations like the ones that will come to you that you, you won't even notice it was a test. <laughs> it will be like habitual, you will just respond, you know, deal with it, get through it, and you wouldn't even know it was a challenge. Someone else would be like, oh my god, what just happened? And for you, it's like, Monday. <laughs> but like a good day, a good Monday. If you're waiting on some sort of contract, legal matters, um, I see them coming in by uh, Aquarius season, so it could be end of January slash February, but more likely end of January time. Nine of Swords. One thing will not work out. There's one thing that you're still going to have, it will still stretch out a little bit uh, in a way that will stress you out possibly time-wise, like time timing will be like, oh, I need this I need this to happen by this time, but it, it keeps stalling and it affects other decisions in your life. And you're like, oh, if only that one thing was resolved, I would be able to also resolve this and this and that. Come back to this reading at the end of the month. Um, I'm not sure yet at all that it's a bad thing. This might be uh, dodging a bullet of some sort or like a way for the universe to guide you in a very specific direction where if it had been delivered, on time or when you felt like you needed it then you would have had more you know um, space to make decisions but you may, you you would have possibly made a decision that isn't best for you and the fact that this is being delayed and not given kind of prevents you from doing something that you would later on regret so the delay I'm picking up that the delay is really for the better it's almost faded like where the universe is stalling something on purpose and it puts you on, on, on anxiety levels because you can't necessarily see the big pictures or what it's for but then a few months in looking back you'll be like oh my god i'm so happy i didn't get it that thing or was approved for that or was able to do this and that when i wanted to because then i wouldn't be forced into where i'm i'm at right now does that make sense um of wands yeah this so-called um, delay will actually open up a very specific path that is perfect for you okay imagine that you have three potential um, paths ahead of you and you can choose and you are you know you're, you're contemplating you're looking at the possibilities you're calculating and then I don't know, a storm hits one path, um, an accident hits the other, you're blocked, you can't go in it. It forces you to only have this path. And it's it seems to be a little bit not as green, not as fertile, and you're like, really, I have these two possibilities. Okay, I have to go in this direction, okay. And then you do, and then as you take a few steps in, you discover an entire world that you're like, oh my God, thank goodness, I wouldn't have chosen this path had I not been forced by circumstance. So. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of 
opportunity or help or assistance, something that will be given, especially with the Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card, you might be receiving some sort either of financial assistance or technical guidance, something that would really set things in motion for you. If there's a moment in time where you think like things are not working out, literally wait two days. Like the, the worst day of the month, two days afterwards, you'll be like, oh my God, that's, that's perfect. Two days or two weeks, but more likely two days. Show me more for a few tests for January, please. Temperance and fell right on the Nine of Swords. There is healing. Whatever goodness is coming in, it's really resolving something within you. I think it's it's resolving this Nine of Wands energy of paranoia, thinking that if you're waiting on something, then something must be wrong and it's all going down the drain. And this month is proving otherwise. It's proving to you that patience is going to be rewarded and everything is going to be fine. And the fears weren't... Um, weren't real and the bottom of the deck we have oh my god the lovers the world and four of wands and then there was love you know it's like when you reach your peak of self not just with skill levels and mastery of your gifts but also with a sense of serenity of knowing things are okay and i have a direct connection with spirit and the universe and we are cooperating and the path becomes super clear right this is a in a way this is a higher frequency for the two of wands a choice and a path that isn't just tangibly exciting in you but spiritually and energetically exciting in you and it does require making decisions but these decisions in a way will be kind of made easy because you're you're already you already have a grasp of who you are and what you want so dilemmas are no longer really dilemma it's like i think the universe is going to help make things clear for you like the direction you need to take and your spirit and your psyche will prove yeah that feels right and some of you are going to meet someone really really special if you haven't already if you have already then this could be a strengthening of the bond and if you haven't this could be someone little just suddenly coming into your life or reappearing in your life depending on uh, you know each case is different but there's this is a very strong sense this is a lot of union energy soulmate union so but practical not just you know it's not just a soul contract it's like it's being sealed and is being um, integrated so It's surprising and it's not surprising at the same time. Here, take a look. So in the extended, we will focus on your love life. I'm going to look deeper into you and your person of interest. The dynamic, it's called double pentagram spread. You guys seem to love it. I've been doing it for a good few months and then some. But we also talk about other things, right? But the focus is about the dynamic and how things unfold. And then after the tarot, we finish up with messages from the runes. Um... So yeah, it's available on Patreon and on Vimeo. Links are below. This is a great time to join Patreon, by the way. And we're not done. I'm going to give you spiritual homework. Like, if anyone should be doing spiritual homework with all this energy, it's you guys. You can really, really do some beneficial work. Let's arrange for a second. Just for a second. Check something out. Yeah. Hmm. So we have multiple nines here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's just strengthening my position that January is going to be. It's going to feel very faded. It's going to feel very um, like very specific things happen in very specific timing to to put you on a very specific route. Um, the, 
this last row here is amazing. There's a strong sense of commitment with work and possibly relationship. Something that could really, really create a massive shift in your life. But an expected one, something that it's finally, it, it's finally starting. Things are finally playing out the way it makes sense in your, the way you think they should in your life, like the way you think you're worthy of. And you're not wrong. Something with the seasons and all the fixed signs is coming up here, both in the world card and, and in, um, in the Wheel of Fortune. Which is why I think Aquarius season, February, is going to be very, very meaningful for a lot of you. I have Aries on the table. A little bit of Sag. Virgo-ish energy. Gemini a little bit. But all the fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. And the justice card here in the middle is like, it's being like, yeah, it's time. It's time for Ophiuchus to be Ophiuchus. The wheels are going to turn around in a way to place you. And remember balance. Balance is key. Balance is key. To get this going. Okay, I'm going to um, pick one major arcana for you guys. One of the 22 major arcanas from my Rider Waite big uh, <laughs> lecture deck. And this is not necessarily related to your reading as forecast, and etc. More so as shamanic, spiritual, light slash shadow work guidance for you for the month of January to help the collective at this pivotal time. Simultaneously, we'll also learn an aspect of the human condition that is very relevant to you and master that aspect. So, you know, when we help the collective, we inevitably also assist ourselves and vice versa. So... What is spiritual homework for my Ophiuchus Seekers, please, slash Seeker 13, who resonate with this, for the month of January? Oh, wow, okay. <gasps> your first card is also your spiritual shamanic work. Ah, maze balls. The magician. Oh my god, I feel giddy as like a little kid. <laughs> this is amazing. First of all, it's very flattering. Okay, Renaissance Seeker Master. This is, okay. Now, all the cards have their interpretation when it comes to the reading, but it's not the only aspect of the tarot. It's actually just like the tip, you know, the tip of the iceberg when it comes to tarot. Tarot is, is, is a theosophy. It's a philosophy and spiritual shamanic work to get to know ourselves in life. And the magician harnesses all the elements in a very powerful, mercurial, hermes-like, hermes Thresmegistus hermes way to, and I talk about it in the class that I will link you, I will, I will link for you about it, um, communication with the universe and with life. He is the embodiment of the Renaissance, Renaissance person, okay? So links to the class of the magician, how to harness his energy and it's challenging it's you know it's one thing to know you're talented it's a whole other it's a whole other thing to walk like it and behave like it I'm not saying showing off not at all but just being okay so that's what the magician teaches teaches you and it and I love that you know spirit is asking you to be your most powerful um, sense of self in a ways of helping the collective that's ideal. No sense of self-sacrifice. Uh-uh. Quite the opposite. No need. Okay? So if you're a Terra Masterclass Bunka student of mine, you already have the class. 
um, but I will link the direct link for that one uh, below. If you're not one of my students, you can definitely partake if you so wish to. You're more than invited. It's only $2 to rent. You can also purchase it for more, but it's up to you what you want to do. Um, so you don't have to have the entire course of TMC Bunkai in order to... It's, it's built like a library, okay? So check it out and let me know how you feel and your thoughts. Please feel free to comment below. Now I'm feeling guided to pull um, Gypsy Oracles for you. I haven't worked with them in a while. They do star a little bit in the Karmic Shift and Liberation project that I did for this decade of 2020, which by the way, you can find linked below on Vimeo or on tier number three on Patreon. We have all the signs there for unlimited streaming. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you guys, but do check out Patreon and Vimeo and Tarot Masterclass, specifically The Magician, for your work this month, okay? And of course, The Extended, that focuses on love, you and your person of interest. Double pentagram. I've been focusing on spirituality in my readings and only saying love if it strongly comes from the cards. And focusing my love focusing on love and the extended for like such a long time suddenly everybody's like now also doing that okay don't get me wrong it's great i think that's the work that is necessary for the collective that's the focus that needs to be had in the general reading on spirituality and life coaching but no one likes to give credit <laughs> that's okay if you've been around here for a while you know Sorry, I didn't mean to make it about myself. Ophiuchus. Message for Ophiuchus. From the Gypsy Opa. Okay. Interesting. Hope and house. So this could be very literal. There is a sense of hope when it comes to your residence or potential new residence. Maybe you want to move. Maybe you want to improve your living situation. Um, I do pick up a little bit, you know, I know that the caption is hope, but there is a little bit sense of despair here from this character. So this could be, you know, something that you're bothered with. You want to have a new start, but you're being delayed by technicalities and different, you know, different circumstances that don't depend on you. But especially considering we have here the four of wands towards the end of the reading and six of pentacles, I think things will work out really, really well. One more. Just one more for clarity, for extra clarity. One more for Ophiuchus slash Secret 13 for January. We have House, Hope, and Haughtiness. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Let me look at this for a second. It looks like this haughtiness character, this peacock, is kind of looking from either from the inside out. No, it's from the inside out. It's like someone is in their house hoping for something greater, bigger, broader. Feeling like they deserve something else or they wish for something else. I think it's guidance um, to be positive in this regard, like to not have like a despair type of hope. Oh, I hope it will work out, but it probably won't kind of kind of thing. Instead, I'm the magician. This is what I know I wish to have. This is what I know I can have. So I'm just going to do the acts and then let the rest follow and it will be okay. So this is more of an advice, I would say, like a guidance on how to deal with that energy if you resonate with this. Okay, guys. Thank you so much once again for being here. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, press the bell button to receive notifications if you want to be notified when videos come out. Uh, comment your thoughts. I love reading you guys. Mm -mm -mm. I'll see you in a second in your extended where I will talk about your love life. And check out The Magician. Are you a magician? Stay magic, stay true, I love you, bye.